Just imagine what you'd see if you had a lens the size of a galaxy. Well, believe it or not, galaxies themselves can actually act as lenses. When the James Webb Space Telescope was launched in 2021, there was unusual excitement from all quarters about what it would reveal about our universe and its galaxies. Since then, scientists have been sent scampering as age-old theories and popularly accepted beliefs have been questioned in light of its revelations. The latest is one of such as this revolutionary telescope has just disclosed an object that scientists never believed existed and cannot explain. Why do we construct telescopes? What did the James Webb Space Telescope find out? What is the consequence of this discovery? Join us in this video as we show how the James Webb Telescope just intercepted a mysterious object. No one can explain. Over the years, astronomy, which is the study of celestial objects and phenomena, has played a crucial role in molding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. From ancient civilizations that relied on celestial observations for navigation and timekeeping to modern scientists who seek out the depths of space with innovative telescopes, astronomy has consistently expanded our knowledge of the universe. Astronomy's importance extends far beyond mere curiosity in that it has profound implications for our daily existence. Some of these implications include navigation and timekeeping. Since times past, humans have relied on their observations of space for navigation. Early mariners used the stars to chart their courses, while sundials and astronomical clocks provided a means of timekeeping. Even today, modern navigation systems like GPS rely on very accurate astronomical data. Another role astronomy performs is weather forecasting. By understanding the sun's activity, solar flares, and the impact of planetary positions on weather patterns, we can be accurate in weather prediction and safeguarding communities from extreme weather events. Astronomy has also inspired countless artists, writers, and thinkers throughout history with the vastness and beauty of the cosmos, fueling scientific inquiry, shaping our understanding of the universe and our position within it. Astronomical research has also led to the development of numerous technologies that have transformed our existence. From the invention of the telescope to the development of laser technology and satellite communications, astronomy has brought technological advancements that benefit society as a whole. With the desire to understand the universe, we have developed powerful telescopes and spacecraft, enabling us to probe the depths of space and uncover new celestial marvels. Telescopes have been instrumental in astronomical research as they magnify and capture faint light from celestial objects, helping us understand them. The invention of the telescope in the early 17th century helped to reinvent our understanding of the universe. These insights have given us access to greater details about celestial objects. Since then, telescopes have witnessed a remarkable evolution, driven by technological advancements and scientific curiosity. The first telescopes, like Galileo Galilei's refracting telescope, used lenses to magnify and focus light. These early telescopes were limited in size and efficacy, but they laid the foundation for the future development of telescopes. The refracting telescope was then improved upon by Isaac Newton when he introduced the concept of reflective telescopes, which use mirrors to capture and focus light. With this kind of telescope, astronomers were offered larger apertures and superior performance, enabling them to observe fainter celestial objects. Today, astronomers have a wide spectrum of telescopes at their disposal, including optical telescopes, radio telescopes, and infrared telescopes. Each variety of telescope is designed to observe specific wavelengths of light, allowing us to study a vast spectrum of celestial phenomena. One of this new generation of telescopes is the James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb is one of the most significant telescopes ever built, 
given its features and subsequent discoveries. Since its launch on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has emerged as a beacon of hope in the domain of astronomy. Positioned as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope endeavors to venture into the depths of the universe, unraveling enigmas regarding star and galaxy formation, cosmic evolution, and the tantalizing prospect of extraterrestrial life. The James Webb Space Telescope's significance in astronomy is immeasurable, predominantly due to its pioneering abilities that could redefine our cosmic understanding. With a significant difference from its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, as it concentrates on infrared observation, the James Webb Space Telescope observes previously unobservable objects. This difference makes it able to penetrate the veils of dust and gas in space and unveil celestial phenomena that were once shrouded in mystery. Embarking on its voyage on December 25, 2021, aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from the Guiana Space Center, the James Webb Space Telescope undertook a meticulously orchestrated deployment phase. This phase, which required a very high level of precision, included the unfurling of its colossal 6.5-meter primary reflector and positioning in its operational orbit at the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. As part of its impressive status, the James Webb Space Telescope possesses an array of groundbreaking features, elevating its observational prowess to unprecedented heights. Its principal mirror, comprising 18 hexagonal segments coated with gold-coated beryllium, spans an impressive 6.5 meters in diameter. This preposterous mirror enables the telescope to capture and analyze faint light emanating from distant cosmic entities with unrivaled precision. The James Webb Space Telescope is also equipped with four sophisticated scientific instruments, each tailored to investigate distinct wavelengths within the infrared spectrum. The first is the near-infrared camera. This workhorse of a camera provides wide field imaging and spectroscopy across an expansive spectrum of infrared wavelengths. The second is the near-infrared spectrograph. This is a formidable spectrograph capable of concurrently observing multiple celestial objects, delivering intricate details about their composition and motion. The third instrument is the mid-infrared instrument. This is an invaluable instrument specializing in long-wavelength infrared imaging and spectroscopy to unravel the mysteries surrounding star and planet formation, as well as galaxy evolution. The fourth is the fine guidance sensor. This is the linchpin of the James Webb Space Telescope's guidance and control system, ensuring precise accuracy in targeting celestial objects. The James Webb Space Telescope, despite its very recent operational phase, has already made groundbreaking discoveries. Some of these discoveries include the detection of carbon dioxide in an exoplanet's atmosphere. This was an astonishing revelation, offering tantalizing evidence of a potentially habitable atmosphere beyond our solar system. Another of its many discoveries is the identification of the oldest known galaxies. Images released from the James Webb Space Telescope have shown galaxies dating back to a mere 250 million years post the Big Bang, effectively influencing what we believe about the origins of our universe. Scientists have also used the telescope's infrared vision to peek into the celestial cradles where stars and planets are formed, providing unprecedented insights into these cosmic genesis processes. This has offered us a more comprehensive knowledge of planet and galaxy formation. According to experts, the James Webb Space Telescope exemplifies our inventiveness and our never-ending quest for grasping the mystery that our universe holds. The James Webb Space Telescope is poised to transform our understanding of the cosmos and its many wonders, with its early discoveries providing the groundwork for significant insights. The telescope, as it sets off on its celestial journey, represents humanity's desire to navigate the uncharted and comprehend the unfathomable depths of our cosmic tapestry.
as part of such a desire to navigate the uncharted and comprehend what makes our universe tick, astronomers have discovered the largest radio galaxy ever, stretching at least 16 million light years through space. The galaxy, named Alcyoneus, after the son of Uranus, the Greek primordial deity of the sky, was discovered about 3 billion light years from Earth by a stroke of luck, according to a statement from Leiden University in the Netherlands. Alcyoneus is a massive radio galaxy reaching 5 megaparsecs into space. That is about 16 million light years long, and it comprises the largest known structure of galactic origin. The discovery highlights our poor comprehension of these colossi and what drives their incredible growth. But it could provide a pathway to improved understanding, not just of giant radio galaxies, but the intergalactic medium that drifts in the yawning voids of space. Giant radio galaxies are yet another enigma in a universe full of mysteries. They consist of a host galaxy, as well as colossal missiles and lobes that erupt forth from the galactic center. A host galaxy has a cluster of stars orbiting a galactic nucleus containing a supermassive black hole. These jets and lobes, interacting with the intergalactic medium, function as a synchrotron to accelerate electrons that produce radio emission. According to the report released, we are pretty sure we know what produces the jets, an active supermassive black hole at the galactic center. We refer to a black hole as active when it's guzzling down or accreting material from a giant disk of material around it. However, not all the material in the accretion disk swirling into an active black hole inevitably winds up beyond the event horizon. A small fraction of it somehow gets funneled from the interior region of the accretion disk to the poles, where it is blasted into space in the form of jets of ionized plasma at speeds a significant percentage of the speed of light. These jets can travel enormous distances before spreading out into gigantic radio, emitting lobes. This process is fairly normal. Even the Milky Way has electromagnetic lobes. What scientists don't really have a clear handle on is why, in some galaxies, they grow to absolutely massive sizes on megaparsec scales. These are called giant radio galaxies, and the most extreme examples could be crucial to understanding what drives their growth. According to the paper released by a team of researchers at the Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands, if there exist host galaxy characteristics that are an important cause for giant radio galaxy growth, then the hosts of the largest giant radio galaxies are likely to possess them. Similarly, if there exist particular large-scale environments that are highly conducive to giant radio galaxy growth, then the largest giant radio galaxies are likely to reside in them. The team went searching for these beyond normal giants radio galaxies in data collected by the Low Frequency Array in Europe. Also known as the LOFAR, this is an interferometric network consisting of around 20,000 radio antennas distributed throughout 52 locations across Europe. They reprocessed the data through a new pipeline, removing compact radio sources that might interfere with detections of diffuse radio lobes and correcting for optical distortion. Astronomers using radio telescopes were previously unable to detect Alcyoneus because the plumes are relatively feeble. According to them, the resulting images represent the most sensitive investigation ever conducted for radio galaxy lobes. Then, they used the greatest pattern recognition tool available for locating their target, their own eyes. This is how they found Alcyoneus, calling out from a galaxy a few billion light years distant. Once they had measured the lobes, the researchers used the Sloan Digital Sky Survey to attempt to understand the host galaxy. They found that it's a reasonably normal elliptical galaxy embedded in a filament of the cosmic web. The galaxy clocks in at around 240 billion times the mass of the Sun, with a supermassive black hole at its center around 400 million times the mass of the Sun. Both of these parameters are actually at the low end for giant radio galaxies, which could provide some indications as to what drives the growth of radio lobes. 
Beyond geometry, Alcyonius and its host are suspiciously ordinary. The total low frequency luminosity density, stellar mass, and supermassive black hole mass are all lower than, though similar to, those of the medial giant radio galaxies, the researchers wrote. Thus, very massive galaxies or central black holes are not necessary to grow large giants, and if the observed state is representative of the source over its lifetime, neither is high radio power. It could be that Alcyoneus is located in a region of space that is lower density than average, which could enable its expansion or that interaction with the cosmic web plays a role in the object's growth. Whatever is behind it, though, the researchers believe that Alcyoneus is still growing even larger, far away in the cosmic dark. While radio jets have been detected in many galaxies, including the Milky Way, the researchers are unsure how Alcyoneus came to be so massive. At first, they thought it could be due to a usually large black hole, an exorbitant quantity of stardust, or incredibly powerful jet streams. However, these features appear comparatively normal compared to other radio galaxies, according to the statement. Alcyoneus may reveal new clues about the structure of our universe, also known as the cosmic web, which is believed to connect all galaxies. This complex network is composed of filaments of clustered galaxies separated by enormous voids. The intergalactic medium between galaxies may play a role in shaping the galaxy's enormous plasma plumes. Therefore, the researchers plan to further investigate Alcyoneus's environment to see if anything in its surroundings can explain its peculiar growth, according to the statement. But what are radio galaxies? Radio galaxies are massive celestial bodies that shine not with visible light, like stars, but rather with intense beams of radio waves that extend across space. These kinds of galaxies stand out among other galaxies, exhibiting unique characteristics that intrigue astronomers and astrophysicists equally. Imagine galaxies to be cities spread across the immense expanse of space. They appear in various shapes and sizes, hosting stars, planets, gas, dust, and mysterious black holes at their centers. Among these galaxies, there exists a special group known as radio galaxies. Their unusual emissions of powerful radio waves that far transcend those emitted by typical galaxies have long been a subject of amazement to astronomers. At the heart of these special kinds of galaxies lay the active galactic nuclei, where a supermassive black hole, millions to billions of times more massive than our Sun, resides. The gravitational force of these colossal entities attracts surrounding matter, producing an accretion disk, which is a swirling maelstrom of gas, dust, and other cosmic debris spiraling into the abyss. As matter falls into the voracious maw of the black hole, it releases gigantic amounts of energy into the universe, giving birth to the radiating brilliance of the active galactic nuclei. The fervent activity within the active galactic nuclei also gives birth to prodigious streams of charged particles and colossal lobes extending far beyond the confines of their host galaxies. These jets, propelled by powerful magnetic fields and intense energy, hurl forth from the center of the gigantic black hole at velocities approaching the speed of light and traveling distances that span thousands to millions of light years. As they travel through space at insane velocities, they interact with magnetic fields, intergalactic gas, and dust, morphing into vast structures known as radio lobes, extending far beyond the galaxy itself. These lobes, which are immense reservoirs of charged particles, discharge copious amounts of radio waves detectable by sensitive radio telescopes on Earth. One of the most fascinating aspects of these radio galaxies is their extended structures that emit these powerful radio waves. Imagine it as a typical city, where the jets are the towering skyscrapers, shooting out from the heart of the galaxy, with immense expanses of energy, the lobes, extending far into the cosmic skyline. As these jets travel through space, they terminate in hot spots, 
which are regions of intensified emission where the jet's energy interacts with surrounding matter, generating intense blasts of radiation. The lobe's expansive cosmic reservoirs claim intricate patterns sculpted by the interactions between the jets and the surrounding interstellar medium. The question is, why are these radio galaxies so intriguing to scientists? Well, they offer a cosmic treasure trove of knowledge about the universe. By studying them, scientists can uncover secrets about how galaxies form, the behavior of black holes, and the interactions between supermassive black holes and their surrounding environment. For instance, scientists use radio telescopes to observe and map these colossal structures, attempting to draw up a map for their shapes and sizes. They also seek to under the enigmatic tug of war between the supermassive black hole's immense gravitational pull and the charged particles swirling around it, seeking to understand the forces that drive these energetic cosmic displays. Also, these cosmic giants contain clues about the evolution of galaxies and the vast intergalactic spaces. They would help scientists comprehend how galaxies interact with each other, how they influence their surroundings, and how they contribute to the general workings of the universe. In conclusion, radio galaxies are not just distant particles of light in the night sky. They are cosmic marvels, offering a window into the unseen, the extraordinary, and the cosmic mysteries that captivate the minds of astronomers and scientists exploring the vast and magnificent universe. So, next time you gaze at the stars, remember that among them exist these magnificent invisible giants painting the cosmic canvas with their enigmatic radio waves, inviting us to explore and comprehend the depths of the universe. So what does all this mean for you and me? What are the implications for the average Joe and Jane on the street? The first point is that we live on a speck of dust on a beach that is as wide and massive as the whole planet. This means that everything in our universe interacts with one another, and by understanding how galaxies are formed and how they interact with others, we can comprehend our own galaxy. This would further help us comprehend our world and the many mysterious things that go on every day in passing. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to watch the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.